Today is week five of the five senses series and we are going to finish off by learning about hearing with this book by Lisa Owings. Let's go. The parade is coming. Excited voices rise and fall around you. You make your way to the curb. The crowd cheers as the first floats roll past. A drum beat begins down the street. Everyone turns towards the sound. The sound grows until it shakes your whole body. Then the band begins playing. You hear the bass of tubas and the high trills of flutes. This is your favorite part of the parade. What is hearing? Our ears allow us to hear music, speech and other sounds. We can hear whispers and bangs, piercing screams and low hums. Each sound is a vibration that moves through the air in waves. The outer ear is the part of the ear we can see. It is shaped like a funnel. This part collects sound waves. It guides them in towards the eardrum. The eardrum vibrates as sound waves push against it. Each vibration then passes through a chain of tiny bones in the middle ear. These bones are the hammer, anvil and stirrup. The stirrup knocks against the inner ear. This sends waves through fluid in the cochlea. As waves travel through the coiled tube, hair-like cells within the cochlea move. Their movements create signals that the brain reads as sounds. What hearing teaches? When we cannot use our eyes, we often depend on our ears. Hearing taught early humans to hunt and communicate using sounds. Sounds also warn us of danger. We can hear a car coming or a fire alarm. Hearing also tells us where things are. Loud thunder means the storm is close. The thunder gets fainter as the storm moves away. Sometimes we hear more sound through one ear. Then we know the sound is closer to that ear. Our ears are especially good at understanding speech. We listen for words and other cues. We can tell how someone feels just by their tone. Take a moment to listen to the world around you. Now let's go through some words from this book. The first word is bass, which is deep or low tones. Cochlea is a tube inside the inner ear that is coiled like a snail shell. Within the cochlea, waves change into signals that the brain understands as sounds. Coiled means to be wound into a spiral shape. Communicate is to share information, usually using speech, or body language. Eardrum is a thin piece of skin between the outer and middle ear. The eardrum vibrates when sound waves hit it. Fluid is a substance that is able to flow. Signals are electrical messages sent to the brain. Trills are musical sounds in which two notes are repeated quickly several times. And finally, vibration is something that moves back and forth quickly. Now it's your turn. What do you think about hearing? And why do you think it's so important to us to be able to hear and listen clearly to the world? Let me know down below and also share with me what are some things you learned in today's class. After this, I'll see you in the next class for some more learning fun. That's all for now. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.